the differentiation and integration of special functions. Now that you've actually differentiated a lot of these functions, you should be able to find their integrals. So d dx of a x to the n is a n x to the n minus 1. The integral of a x to the n dx is a x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c divided when n is equal to not equal to minus 1. Now, d dx of e to the x is itself e to the x, and if you integrate e to the x dx, you get e to the x plus c. d dx of ln of x is 1 over x, and when you integrate 1 over x, you get ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So the absolute value takes case when x is actually equal, is actually negative d dx of sine x is cos x, x has to be measured in radians, and then the integral of sine x is minus cos x plus c, and then d dx of cos x is minus sine x, all right, and if you differentiate minus sine x, you're going to get minus uh, cos x, differentiate minus cos x, you get back to sine x, it goes around in a circle, and the integral of cos x will be equal to Sorry, the integral of cos x will be equal to sine x plus c. So we get a complete circle going around there. So that goes, differentiate sine, you get cos, differentiate cos, uh, you get minus sine, differentiate minus sine, you get minus co uh, cos. When you differentiate minus cos, you get sine. Integrating, if you integrate sine, you get minus cos. Integrate uh, cos, you get minus uh, sine x, integrate minus sine x, you're going to get back to cos x, integrate cos, and you get back to sine x. So the, it goes around in a circle. d dx of tan x is sec squared x. We'll look at the integral of tan x later, but the integral of sec squared x is tan x plus c. And d dx of cot x is minus cosec squared x. And therefore, if you want to integrate cosec squared x, you have to do minus cot x plus c. Notice the minus signs of that one. d dx of sec x is sec x tan x. And therefore, if you integrate sec x tan x, you're going to get sec x plus c. And then d dx of cosec x is equal to minus cosec cot x. And therefore, if you integrate cosec cot x, going to get minus cosec x plus c. So all these are you should need to be familiar with and are, are worth sort of remembering. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.